Welcome to PADT, Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS certified channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools in the Southwest United States across six states. Our headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona, and we have offices near Salt Lake City, Utah, Los Angeles, California, Denver, Colorado, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. In addition, we provide training, mentoring, and simulation consulting with these ANSYS tools worldwide. Hello, my name is Nathan Huber with PADT Inc. And today I'm going to walk through an example of the workflow for ANSYS Workbench polyhedral meshing. A couple of important notes is the name selections and the file path must be free of spaces and special characters and the name selections must also be lowercase only. The first thing that we're going to do is load the ACT extension, go to the ACT start page, manage extensions. We see here that I do have Workbench poly meshing downloaded from the App Store. I'm going to load that extension. The next thing we need to check is that the beta flag is turned on. which we see that it is. And then finally just confirm that the extension has been loaded. Now we can set up our project schematic. We're going to do that using a mesh module, our new fluent meshing module, and a fluent module. I can now import my geometry. I'm going to import this exhaust manifold parasolid and now we can go into meshing. Once ANSYS meshing has loaded, the first thing we're going to do is set our material to fluid. In meshing, we'll set our physics preference to CFD. The default solver preference of fluid is correct. And for the sake of this example, I'm going to leave the remainder of the sizing default. Insert a patch conforming method to our geometry and set the method to tetrahedrons to force a tetrahedral mesh. Once these have been done, we can create our name selections that are going to be needed for our inlets and outlets. We can do that by creating a name selection or selecting the face and selecting N on the keyboard and inputting our name. Again, no special characters, no spaces, and all lowercase for these name selections. Once I have these name selections created, I can select our Fluent Meshing button now up in the toolbar. And in these options, I need to select my number of inlets and number of outlets and these are going to reference the created name selections fluid regions I just have a single fluid region my inflation settings I'm gonna leave as the defaults gonna leave the volume fill as polyhedral mesh solid set to no as we only have a fluid region and then running in debug mode set to no will run fluent in batch from there we can now update our mesh and we can see that now I have a tetrahedral mesh on my geometry. Moving back to Workbench, now is a good time to save our project. Once the project has been saved, we can go ahead and select our Fluent Meshing cell and select Update. This is going to launch the Fluent Batch window.
and now we can see fluent meshing running and generating our polyhedral mesh. And now that that is completed, we can open up our fluent module. Just loading this for the sake of viewing our mesh. And we can see that our mesh is now polyhedral with inflation layers. And that concludes this example of ANSYS Workbench Polyhedral Meshing. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can jump on our website at padtinc.com or give us a call at 1-800-293-PADT or send us an email at support at padtinc.com.